Junji Ito presents Slug Girl. My friend Yuko, who's known for her chatty character, has suddenly become quiet recently. It seems like she's getting too lazy to talk, even when she speaks, it's like that. Above that, I've been unable to speak swell lately. Her pronunciation has become really bad, like as if she has a big tongue. Yuko, are you not feeling well? But again, it feels like I'm not feeling unwell. Soon after, her condition grew more and more serious, and finally, she couldn't make it to school. There isn't anyone at home? I'll check the backyard. Oh right, there are tons of slugs in the backyard. What should I do? Oh! It's useless killing them! They'll keep appearing! The sun doesn't get in here, it's too damp! Hey, get the salt! Huh? Oh, Ree, I haven't seen you for a long time. Hello, Auntie. Are you here to visit Yuko? She's in her room. Come in. Yuko, Ree is here to see you. Yuko? What happened? Are you not feeling well? <sighs> Yuko? Why are you wearing that mask? Did you catch a cold? The doctor had only mentioned that your mental health is weak. Yuko, does it feel weird in your mouth? Let me take a look. Look! Go away! Uh, Yuko, what's going on? G get out! Don't bother me! The fear in Yuko's eyes is not normal at all. It's totally different from her usual cheerful self. Come to think of it, I've seen Yuko in such a fear in the past. It was when we were still in elementary school. The backyard in Yuko's house was just like it is right now, with lots of slugs everywhere. Yuko hates slugs the most. Some of our classmates went to her house to play, and one of us tried to scare Yuko with the slug from their backyard. Yuko's expression of fear shocked me. Of course, after that incident, she never went near the backyard. However, the changes in her health are so weird this time around. The next day... <laughs> Doc! Doctor! Auntie! Auntie, did something happen? Ah! Yuko! Yuko's tongue! Ah! Yuko? <laughs> Yuko's tongue has turned into that! <gasps> no way! Yuko's tongue looks like a slug! You're right! <laughs> Yuko's tongue has turned into a slug! Her tongue is not listening to her commands! It has become a huge crawling slug! Such a disgusting sight! But... But... This is true! Ah, uh, poor Yuko. The slugs which Yuko hates the most is crawling around in her mouth! Ah! Uh, uh, same! Uh, no! Don't come closer! I ran out of the house in fear, and I've never gone back ever since then. I've only got to know what happened from Yuko from her parents. Yuko cut off the slug tongue using a scissor, but it grew back after some time. It doesn't work no matter how many times she tried. Slugs are mostly afraid of salt! Bring the salt here! Her father tried putting the large amount of salt in her mouth, but Yuko spat it out like she couldn't take it. <coughs> and since she was unable to eat, she became skinnier and skinnier. The parts of her face where the slug had crawled were all shining in silver. Since it has turned out like this, we should... What do you want to do, dear? Fill the bathtub with salt. Get Yuko to stay there. Although it will be tough for Yuko, it should be able to work. The slug being buried in salt will surely die from that. Now hurry up and buy the salt! Good. This should be enough. Yuko, get in. You can do it! Listen well. After diving in, you must open your mouth widely. Yuko! You can do it! Hang in there, Yuko! 
but Yuko did not come up, even after waiting for so long. Hold on, dear! Isn't it too long? Yuko, what happened? Answer me! This is bad. She fainted! Uh, isn't this her pajamas? And her underwear? Where did Yuko go? Yuko, where are you? Uh, what is this? Ah! Uh, where's the body? Where did Yuko's body go? Ah! Uh, look at this, dear. There's a small body near the head. The body had shrunk due to the salt. They rushed to pour water on Yuko's head, hoping that the body would return to its original size. However... Until now, it is still in the backyard. Just like a snail, the slug carried her head on its back. The slime is rumored to be particularly from that slug. And also, there will be a sad gaze from the shell staring at anyone who is nearby. <laughs>